Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Badwick here, entertaining you like every other day and giving my useless opinions back to the world. So for today's video, it's actually gonna be a little different. It's unscripted. So if it doesn't seem as um, steady as my other videos or as straight as my other videos, that is why. Also, I could have probably used a better um, choice of words, but now you know why I write my scripts down. <laughs> So for this video, I want to talk about the sharks of the internet, the cold-blooded scavengers in the Twitter world, the individuals that for some reason do not miss an opportunity to spam your like DMs. I am of course talking about the graphic designer community. <laughs> Now this video might be a little bit weird if you don't know what I mean or if you've never tried to get a logo made on Twitter. However, I had a buddy who reached out to me wanting a logo for his Instagram channel. Now he doesn't really use Twitter and he figured he'd reach out to me because, you know, I got like some pull in the online world in like the small communities I roll in. I'm not saying like I'm big or anything. I just, you know, I know people. So, <laughs> he reached out to me and wanted to find a graphic designer. And I basically posted a tweet about it. And oh my god, I got destroyed. Like, it took, I think, 10 minutes for my inbox to fill up with like 40 DMs from people. Now, Obviously, this isn't a bad thing. This is what I went out to do. It's like, what happens next? <laughs> that, like, baffles me. So reaching out and, like, telling a bunch of people about uh, the fact that my buddy wanted a... Just kind of a basic logo with lettering done for his uh, Instagram page. I was surprised about most of the responses. 50% of them didn't even care. They didn't even like read the tweet saying that they could reach out to my buddy on Instagram. They immediately wanted the job, wanted it done now. They wanted my information, wanted to completely skip him. Because you know, they just completely disregarded the tweet I made about the job and about how they could reach out to my buddy on Instagram. And I, you know what? To be fair, I get it. But when the job says specifically to reach out to my buddy on Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so 50% of them got mad at me and they kept spamming me for like three or four days about tell me what to do, tell me what to do, tell me what to do. Like almost to the point where I felt threatened from these individuals. 30% um, of them got angry at me and said, why waste my time? Even though they responded and spammed my inbox saying, I want the job, I want the job, I want the job, and then when I told them, hey, my buddy's on Instagram, reach out to him, they got angry. Like, they got mad at me, but they responded to my Twitter. Ah, uh, And then, like, I got, like, 10% of them that were like, we reached out to your buddy's email, we wrote him a physical letter, we hit his DMs, we left notes at his work. Like, they're relentless. Like, they, they got one thing and found everything on him. And my buddy's like, I think he just recently passed 1K on Instagram or he's somewhere around that mark. Uh, and his whole channel's a hobby channel. Like he makes Gundam models. I mean, they're pretty cool, pretty dope. I could never do it, but yeah, th that's where his channel is. So <laughs> these people have not left me alone. I still have DMs from some of them every day spamming me about this logo or asking me if I want a logo done which I mean my logo is pretty dope psychic uh, did mine sorry psych I am just it's early in the morning so like I'm bad if I butchered your name and I don't have a script but anyways my logo is dope as fuck and I'm probably never gonna switch it she does all my avatars everything like that so I got my niche man but these people are like relentless. Like they do not stop. Plus I'm pretty sure like 10% of them or at least 20% of them were like bot accounts because they like I get the same messages spammed at me from different accounts and their bios are all the same saying, 
amazing professional graphic designer looking for commissions. And then, <laughs> my beef with most of these graphic designers was that, unlike the individual that did my artwork, who drew it out by hand, and it's like unique, there's nothing else like it. These individuals post those like generic esports logo thing, and I don't even know why people pay for that shit. I really don't. I could do what they probably do in like, I don't know, a day, unless they just copy and paste it from something. Um, in like 10 minutes on Kavana or Kavana. I, I'm being serious. Like, I look at 50% of the graphic designers online, and unless they're not animating something or creating like unique intros, half the logos look so generic. I hate that classic esports logo where it's like, I don't know, you would know what I mean. Like, I'll post a few on the screen for examples, but ah, uh, it is awful. And like, that's what they try to spam at you. They're like, look at my amazing original art. Guys, check this out, it's so fucking amazing. And it's the same stupid eSports logo I have seen a million times. I mean, that is not the logo that is gonna make you fucking stand out in the world. You need something unique. I'm not saying like everyone has to go the um, avatar route and uh, uh, you know, like personalized avatars, that sort of thing, but like, something different than your standard stupid esports logo because even when like i i did humor a few of them and like get into detail about my buddy's um instagram page and like i don't know what to do about that because you're fucking do one logo oh god this is like people get hustled so hard when they say they want to get into esports or youtube by everyone like everyone spams up and they get like the sub for sub fucking bots, they get like the graphic designers, they get everything, the cringe, like join my group, I follow you for me. Well, that's sub for sub, never mind. But like, you know what I mean? That new YouTubers get like hustled into everything. Same thing as streamers. And it's fucking cringe. It really is. So many people try to like exploit, take advantage of these creators. And like, I get it because it's a massive part of like our culture world sort of thing now internet culture but goddamn the whole point of this rant is if you're a graphic designer come up with fucking something original because you guys like 50 percent of you lack creativity man i i'm being honest like i don't give a shit i might get boycotted in the graphic design community but whatever i don't give a fuck um but yeah that, that's pretty much my thoughts on that they're fucking bloodthirsty savage like, the amount of DMs I got within, like, 10 minutes, even, I posted that tweet was, like, shocking. I got more fucking attention than I ever do. Anyways, guys, this is Badwick with a little rant about graphic designers, the sharks of Twitter. Let me know what you think, and I will see you later. Bye.